It's the Caramel CT503A. Man, these are super ukuleles. One of the differences between this and the CT500 is that the CT500 is laminate. And this is all solid. <laughs> There's a big difference, at least in the prestige. I remember the other one, you couldn't see the wood grain quite so nicely as you can this one. I've always liked that. You can see little indigens all throughout the wood. It has the trim that I love. All solid, solid rosewood top, sides, and back. And if this were put together in pieces, as most of them are, you can't tell. This is really nice ukulele. And it's the one I pick up and play all the time. Usually you think that you have to be really careful with all solid ukuleles. But I'm not with this one, and it seems to be quite sturdy. I treat this just like any of the others. But I always play this. I, this is the one that I seem to pick up and play unless I need a low G tuning or something else. It's just my favorite tenor right now. I don't really like playing glossy ukuleles. I mean, they're nice for show. But this, this has the right kind of weight to it. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you and all your friends and family. There it is. I installed strap buttons. And I don't know how I put it up here. That doesn't look like a good spot for it. But I got it in the right place down there. This must be one of the very first ukuleles I ever put strap buttons on. Because usually it would be further down here. With caramel ukuleles, a lot of times you have to write the name on it yourself. They don't particularly use name plates on all their ukuleles, and there's certainly not one in here. Rosewood bridge, rosewood fretboard, bone, nut, and saddle. It's got all the right ingredients. Good looker. Priced right. I think. Thanks for watching.